Okay, I'm back and the blueberry buckle is out of the oven. I do want to let you know that I did have to bake it a little bit longer than the 25 to 30 minutes uh, that is recommended. I left it in about 45 minutes because the middle was still just a little bit wetter than I like it. Um, but after 45 minutes, I think it turned out pretty good. So what you can do is uh, use a knife to stick it in the middle or a toothpick if that comes out clean. Um, it's done and I'm going to uh, point the camera down so you can see uh, the top of it and how it has buckled. Okay, so I hope that's in the shot. Let me move it over just a little bit. Okay, as you can see the top of it there is buckled and that's what we want. It's nice and um, crisp on the top and it has cooled off a little bit but it's still pretty hot. I can touch the pan though. And in a little bit, <clears throat> I am going to cut a piece of this off. Actually, let me do that right now. There you go. And let me get a little plate out of the cabinet here. <clears throat> All right. So I'm going to get something to get the buckle, blueberry buckle out of here. Loosen that up a little bit. Okay. It's kind of falling apart, but that's all right. Okay. Mm, that looks good. Okay. So here is the piece that I've cut out of the pan and I am going to taste it. All right. It's a pretty good breakfast, I would say. It's really good. Now, if you like cinnamon, sugar, butter, like I do, you're going to like this recipe and it's still warm and that's the way I like to eat it um, and if it you know when it cools down to room temperature you can just stick it in the microwave for a couple seconds heat it back up and have it with a cup of coffee or a cold glass of milk like I said before all right folks I hope you liked the video I'm sure there's a few things that I could tweak and do a little bit better but like I said this is my first video and I hope to make more because I think this has been really fun so like the video I'd, I'd appreciate that and please subscribe to the channel I'd appreciate that too and send along your helpful tips and comments uh, I'll read them and if you have any recipes that you'd like to share I'd like to see those and like I said before I might make them uh, you can probably hear the dogs in the background they're getting ready to get all excited because their daddy rich is on the way home from work. All right. So thank you again. I really appreciate it. And I will see you next time. I want you folks to have a really great day and be good to yourselves and make something good. All right. Take care, folks.